charge them once more. 373 troops versus still a larger number. <laughs> okay, let's head over here. 37 renown is the reward for this particular battle. So this will be just as sweet a reward as the previous engagement. Come on, guys. You can catch up. Ah, no. Okay, cavalry, come over here. And infantry, you just charge, okay? Because you going in shield wall formation is terrible. So, where is the enemy? Right ahead of us there. Yes, I can see them. Uh, they're on the horizon. Through the trees. Yes. We will make them pay. For thinking they can oppose us. Okay, so I moved our cavalry ahead a slight amount. Let's put them on that hill over there so they'll have a rather nice time of charging downward. I will soon enough order our infantry to get back into formation over here. Come on, guys. Yes, shields up just in case the missile units start to fire at us. And our cavalry are nicely hidden from view. This makes me think I'd be a pretty good general in some game. <laughs> but, yeah. Mountain Blade, I am terrible at tactics. So I think it may be because I am actually controlling one of the units in the battle itself. Whereas in conventional RTS, you could say, you get a top-down perspective. And that might improve my chances. <laughs> I'd like to think so at least. I'm actually going to tell everyone to charge now. And hopefully we can take out a few. Come on. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at that sight. All of our men charging in. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Took out one already and I am actually going to get owned. No. Come on. Back up horse. Back up horse. No. No. <laughs> no. Run. Yes. Horse is alive. A horse is alive. Oh, yes. Okay, well, that was a terrible charge for me, but hopefully I can keep out of their range with my spear and still do some serious damage. Let's hope. This spear is absolutely overpowered now. It used to be way too slow to be marginally effective. It was, still was effective, just not as usable as it is now. Okay, come on. Take out that guy. Yeah! Oh, yes. Some serious damage there. Ah, oh, damn. He escaped. Come on. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. The damage on this thing. It is just crazy. I'm not even going that fast, and I'm getting 95 damage. That is just sick. Really? Look at that. Oh, I did 9 damage there. Okay, well, I take it back. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I just thought, oh, this is not balanced at all. Oh my goodness. But I suppose, considering this is mainly a single-player game, or should I say, mainly a single-player mod, don't have to really worry about balance too much. And there we are. We defeated those without getting incapacitated. <laughs> that is... A rather amazing feat, considering. Okay, so we have 367 versus... 373, I believe? I have a terrible short-term memory for some reason. Okay, so let's head up here. And... Oh, we have quite a lot of cavalry this time. Maybe we can do some flanking maneuvers. That would be quite nice to see. Especially on this Rolling Hills map. Seems like a rather nice backdrop for a flanking maneuver. Oh yeah, so let's move our cavalry over here behind this hill. Yes, yes. This appears to be rather nice. I'm not too sure whether the AI can actually see through the terrain? I would hope not, but then again, 
it might need to calculate certain parameters. <laughs> well, who knows. Okay, now let's put them over here just so they don't get slowed down by heading upwards. Okay, come on infantry, come on. Yes, yes, move forward. We're waiting here in the tree line for the enemies to move a little bit forward and out of formation and then we'll take advantage of their position. Oh yes. Okay, so let's take our cavalry over here slightly. Be sneaky sneaky. Sneaky sneaky, yes. Let's do that. <laughs> okay, down here. Ah, they appear to be modifying their formation slightly to adapt to our movements. Yes, they are. They're trying to prevent us from flanking them. Yeah. Okay, now I think what I'll do is send my infantry in. Come on, infantry. Go, go, go. And now send the cavalry in. And by the time the infantry is engaged, we will be cleaning up. Oh, yes. Okay, let's do it. Come on. Let's take down the back line as much as possible. They're elite skirmishers mainly. And missile units. Yeah. This should deal a punishing blow to the enemy. Okay, so that was marginally successful. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily say it was a roaring success because we didn't really take out too many considering we don't have that many light cavalry, but I thought it was a rather nice attempt. That's my way of patting myself on the back. <laughs> Considering I don't have anyone here to do that for me. Not in real time, at least. Okay, come on. Yeah. Oh, no, I missed that. Great, yeah. Don't pat myself on the back for that one. Take him out. Yeah. Come on. Take him down like cavalry. It's actually someone beneath me. Okay. Well, we took him out, at least. Okay, we got a lot of elite skirmishers here. If we can take them out, then that will prevent them from garrisoning any other castle that we may attempt to take. Ah, oh, they all escaped. Okay. Well, I took out three, I think, before they made it to the exit. Ah, yes. I think these are all going to escape. And one enemy left. Yeah, there we are. He was actually a light cavalry who who took out one of our skirmishers. Ah, he was a boss. Okay, so 23 renown. That is just amazing. Okay, so the renown value for this battle is 15. And we do have a rather large battle advantage. Because the first round of this battle, or should I say a series of battles, we had a minus 4 battle advantage. So, we were not doing too well on that front, and we still managed to pull out a pretty convincing victory. Come on, guys. Yeah. Take him down. Yes. Okay, good work. Now, they are actually charging us, so I think we should retaliate and charge right back at them. Let's do it. Yeah, take that, medium infantry. Oh my goodness, okay, that was some serious damage. Oh my, 43 damage to my horse and 14 damage to Barney. Oh no. Okay, let's attempt to be a little evasive this time rather than charging right into them. No, yes, no, okay, there we go. What are you doing? Just stop running into each other, yes. Start fighting everyone else, yeah. Okay, now... Careful. No, no. Ooh, that was close. I could just feel that spear graze Barney's head. Oh. oh my. That would not have been pleasant. Okay, here come their cavalry reinforcements. I took out one of their horses, at least. Oh no, there's a spear behind me. Considering spears are amazingly overpowered now. I would not like to get hit by one of them. Okay, come on, take him out, yeah. 
Okay, his horse is down, so at least they'll be able to pick him off. Oh no, he's got a spear. And, yeah. <laughs> As I thought. I knew that would be the case. Uh, to watch the fight, you can use WASD. Yes, I will plan to do so. Thank you very much. Okay, well, it was bound to happen sooner or later, considering my... <laughs> zealousness when it comes to charging into the enemy. And it appears we are fighting tooth and nail to defeat these cavalrymen. And we are losing quite a lot of units for whatever reason. I'm not able to bring up the battle map so I don't know how many units they have left and how many units we've lost. So I can only have faith that we will prevail. Come on. Take him down. Yeah. Good work. Now, I think we only have four enemies remaining. These are three of them. That's a cleric. Huh. I think he's going to escape. He actually escaped from professional mercenaries and soldiers. That is a very pro cleric. Obviously played by Derek Jacobi. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, he's going to escape. There is no way I am ever going to find anyone else to spectate, so I might as well just follow the main force. Oh, he might actually get taken out. If this cavalryman is worth his sort. Yes, he is. Okay, well, there we are. That is a win.